Hi, I'm Charlie Zaiken and for today's video, I would be sharing the 17 lessons that I have learned in my 17 years of existence. So, I would be looking at my journal. I would I wrote, I, uh, mm -mm. I wrote it all down here so I wouldn't be going around if you know what I mean. So, let's start. First, don't try to be someone else to please the people around you because you would just make a fool out of yourself and other people you know we are all beautiful and by that i mean we have our own version of beautiful <laughs> number two it's okay to say no my youth leader once told me that i should know my energy and before i was having a hard time saying no to people's demands and commands there's a difference but when i realized what my leader meant i was like oh man i don't have to attend to everything i don't have to say yes to everything because i have other commitments i am a student i'm in the ministry I do a lot of chores and adding things to it will only be draining me or it will only burn me out. Number three, along the way, you will lose some friends. And I'm the type of person who values friendship so much. It's one of the relationships that I try to nurture. But so... Losing friends was not easy at first, but I realized that there are seasonal friends and I'm glad that I met them and we have shared our purpose in the time span that we had. Number four, <laughs> record your seasons. And by this, I mean write your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your day, your disappointments your rants you can do it on a journal like me or through my day's story videos pictures so you can look back and be grateful of your life realize things and sort things out number five a smile <laughs> a smile can make a stranger feel better number six learn to wait I know it's hard but learn to wait my friend nothing worth having comes easy learn to wait number seven forgiveness brings forth healing time hides it and I learned this the hard way, but the Lord has been teaching my heart. And the moment we begin to forgive ourselves and those that had offended us, that is when true healing takes place from the inside out. Forgive, kapatid. Number eight. Step out of your comfort zone. <laughs> What am I doing? Step out of your comfort zone. Try it. Get rid of your fears because it will only rob you of the wonderful opportunities you will have when you step out of your shell. Number nine, clay go. Shout out to my fellow UCNs. In my past university, they have implemented this clay go rule that we go by and it's simple but it's really 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 helpful and i have seen the convenience that it brings because instead of accumulating uh, instead of accumulating garbage or responsibilities you would do it right away for example kumain ka yung pinagkainan mo nilagay mo sa lababo lunchtime kumain ka 
yung pinagkinan mo, nilagay mo ulit sa lababo. Dinner, nilagay mo ulit sa lababo. So, parang napondo yung gagawin mo, di ba? Instead na mapondo yun, clean as you go. Para wala ka nang iniisip. Para wala nang reklamo, di ba? Number 10. Be still and know He is God. In stillness, that is where that sweet fellowship with the Lord is present. In stillness, it is where we can acknowledge and know who God is. And in stillness, it is where we can clearly, clearly <laughs> hear His voice. Be still and know He is God. Number 11. Prayer. Prayer is powerful and prayer is important. But prayer in the name of Jesus and in the presence of Jesus. Because all people pray regardless of denomination and religion. But praying in the name and in the presence of Jesus makes the difference. Because Jesus is the one true living God and he is not a God created by human hands. He is not a God that is made out of gold or wood. He is a God that speaks, that listens, that acts, that cares. He is Lord. <laughs> Number 12. An early bird catches more prey. And I got this from my mom. So I think it explains itself. Kaya pag may gagawin ka o marami kang gagawin, kumising ka ng maaga. Number 13. Set boundaries. And I think this is important because setting boundaries can protect us. People will not disrespect us and take advantage of us. Pati rin sa sarili natin dapat may boundaries tayo. Number 14. Be mindful of what you feed yourself. Totoo yung saying na you are what you eat and it does not only apply physically but spiritually and psychologically as well and now i learned this from my teacher in elementary mom nika donna <laughs> shout out you were the one who taught me to be mindful of what songs i listen to and what movies i watch because they will greatly affect me psychologically and most importantly spiritually number 15 Probably one of my favorites, and it is to declutter. <laughs> I am actually a hoarder and a sentimental person, but as I aged, I did not like the idea of having a lot of stuff around me, like clothes, things, and mga abubot. So every time I clean my room, my aunt, mommy, <laughs> would always tell me to Day, man declutter ka isa, ilam no sinun adim us usarun, ta ipak daw mo, no ma idmang layad, iwasit mo ut. So, what she basically meant was to get rid of the old stuff to make room for the new ones. Number 16. Have a me time. Date yourself. Treat yourself. Kasi, kailangan mo rin yun. You don't have to be with other people. You know what I mean. Nakaka-relax tsaka, nakaka-refresh. And for my 17th, do all for the glory of God. Because He created us for His glory and for His pleasure. So, whether it be great or small, let's do it all for His glory. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learn something, take what you will, and always be grateful. God bless. Bye!